Welcome back to another weeknight episode of Amber's Apron. I, um, in my earlier episode, I told you all that every Friday night we have a big family dinner at my grandparents' house, and this Friday I'm cooking it all. And uh, for the meal, we're having taco soup. Mm, it's gonna be so spicy, but for dessert, we're having caramel apple cream cheese danish. Now, it sounds fancy, but y'all, it's a weeknight. I got one kid going to bed and I've got another one getting ready for bed. I don't have time, like I've told you all before, I don't have time for fancy. I'm not bougie. <laughs> Typical weeknights for me are crazy. I work an hour away from home. So by the time I get home, the kids play while I cook, usually a pretty quick meal. Um, we eat and then it seems like we take baths and go to bed and that's it. So, so let's get started. I've already got two blocks of cream cheese softened, whipped in my bowl. I'm adding, and y'all look at this. Look how, uh, this is the resealable powdered sugar and I cut the top clean off and then had to put it in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> so how redneck is that? <laughs> so I am throwing in, it calls for a cup of powdered sugar. That looks to be about a cup. Let me put my powdered sugar back together. <laughs> Ain't that how it always goes, though? You're like, I'm going to cut this off. Oh, it's resealable. Bummer. And then I'm going to add some of my cousin's homemade vanilla. Now, the last time I spilled it, so I'm being very careful. There we go. Um, and usually about a teaspoon. I just guess that'll be good and one egg. I'm going to beat it till it's smooth. All right, as you can see, perfectly blended. No lumps, bumps, or I was going to say something inappropriate, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I might just cut that out. Okay, y'all. I took my Baker's Joy and I gave my 9 by 13 pan a little spray here and there. This is my saving grace. It's the Pillsbury Crescent Dough Sheet. So it's a solid sheet of crescent roll dough. And I used to be terrified opening these things. Like, I would scream. Back in the day, they told you to like whack it on something. Or maybe it was my mom. Um, now you're supposed to press it. But I would like because it scared me. Now I'm a pro. <laughs> now I'm a mom. Nothing scares me. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? So I'm just going to take my crescent roll dough. And if you've not used this, you absolutely have to. It's such a lifesaver, um, especially for the recipes that call for crescent rolls in like one sheet. And they want you to squeeze the perforations together and roll it out. This is not perforated. See that? It's glorious. So I'm going to put this in my number 13 pan. And I've got it greased a little bit with that Baker's Joy. My pan's going to tap, tap, tap. I'm so sorry. I use, a lot of people sometimes ask me what kind of dishes I use. Because I use, I use Longa Burger. This is like old school Longa Burger. Um, and they'll either ask me about the dishes, which I have the dishes we eat on, or, you know, when we cook stuff for church or we go to, this is so, hold on. I'll fix this. As my daddy says, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Um, so as, if we go to like church dinners and take, you know, brownies or whatever, a lot of people ask me about my pans. They're like, oh, that's so pretty. Where'd you get it? This is old school Longa Burger. They don't make them anymore yet, but the company just kind of like started back over. So here's hoping. And I actually used to clean a woman's house. She sold it. And I would always compliment her because, you know, I was cleaning her house, washing her dishes, and I was like, I love your dishes. And so I ended up ordering them from her. She would have like little, I called it like a little club. It was like a little gang, a gaggle. <laughs> It was a little gaggle and 
so many people would order and like one person would get the hostess rewards. So a lot of my longer burger I got half off because the woman whose house I cleaned let me in her gang. It was great. <laughs> and I've had these for probably going on 20 years for a very long time. No, maybe not that long because Arian was little. So 15 years at least. And I love them. And they're stone. They're like heavy, heavy duty. So they're a little, you know, because they're like stoneware. So they're not perfectly flat. And uh, when you're tap, tap, tapping, it rocks back and forth. So all I've done, I've tapped out my crescent roll dough. Got it good and smooth. Now I'm taking my cream cheese, powdered sugar, vanilla egg mixture. And I'm going to dump it in. And I really want to keep this in, um, in the crescent roll dough. I don't, I don't want to get it on my pan. And y'all, I think I got the smallest, skinniest scraper I could find. I don't know if you can hear my dishwashers going in the background. Like I said, this is a weeknight. And, uh, you know, I don't know if your life is as crazy as mine. Like, I don't ever want to one-up somebody. Like, my life is just so crazy. Um, but it's hard to do anything, really, on a weeknight. By the time I get home, used to, my oldest had homework all the time. Luckily, you know, that, now they've moved to a lot of um, the Chromebooks, and they do everything online, and so that's really helped. And he's got study hall, so that helps. But we would come home, we would have homework, which luckily, like I said, that's gone. But now it's like we get home, we barely have time to eat. And, of course, we still sit around the table and eat like a family because I want some, like, traditional values <laughs> instilled in my kids. When I grew up, we ate in the living room and we got to sit on the couch and watch TV and we didn't speak to each other. It was, it was great. <laughs> but we eat at the table. And my youngest, he has been saying, well, this is funny. He's learned the blessing that God is great, God is good. Let us thank him for our food blessing. But he's been used to me for like most of his life. Um, at bedtime, I will sing the song, The Blessing by Carrie Job and Cody Carnes. And so now if we say, say the blessing, he'll be like, the Lord bless you. And I'm like, no, 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 don't sing the song. Say the prayer. But he makes us, we have to, he goes, he learned this from daycare, his daycare, um, teachers he goes to a Christian daycare and so he makes us we have to hold our hands like this and bow our heads and close our eyes but nobody can say the prayer with him he has to say it himself and then he says God is great God is good let us thank him for our food by his hands we all are fed thank you Lord for daily bread in Jesus name amen and then you have to say amen with him sorry I have goo on my finger he's a little diva he's a little dramatic he gets it from his father So now I have two cans <laughs> of apple pie feeling, and y'all, this is caramel apple pie feeling. I have never had it before, but I'm giving it a whirl because what? Caramel pie feeling or caramel apple pie feeling? Absolutely. So then you're just going to take it and just gently dump it over your cream cheese because your cream cheese is kind of loose. Um, and you don't want to move it around a lot. And this is easy. Like I said, if I'm doing this on a weeknight, guys, it's got to be easy. But what we do, because we have this big family get-together, usually one person, like my mom or one of my aunts, um, will cook dinner and do the meal and dessert and it's just always it's home cooked so it's always something you look forward to and even my husband he'll text and be like hey what's for dinner tonight and it's just so good and here lately we've started this little um family tradition we all you know i think i've told you all we all live like on a cult pretty much not really we're not in a cult um i shouldn't say that but um we all live within like five miles of each other and so we have been leaving my little granny's house, usually long about dark, 
and we go to my aunt's house and she's been having us a fire we've been having a big bonfire outside and roasting marshmallows and making s'mores and y'all i've still managed to lose weight even though i have had s'mores at least two s'mores every friday night thank goodness and we just sit out there and talk as a family and lord bless last week we got to sing in um johnny cash songs although let me tell you the feral one my youngest the feral one he is so he has a little it's an ipod but it looks like an iphone so he's got that we call it his phone and he has access to all of the music we've ever downloaded which is sometimes good sometimes bad and so he will talk about Evanescence and Katy Perry. And y'all, he loves the song, You Never Even Called Me By My Name by, da by David Allen Coe. And he knows it, he's been singing it. <laughs> and so last week I said, he was kind of humming it around and I said, hey Cash, his name's Cash. Um, I said, hey Cash, and he said, yes. And I said, well, I was drunk. The day my ma got out of prison and that child started singing sometimes he started singing it and the whole family was cracking up because here he is singing like this bar song <laughs> and we just had ourselves a good little time out at the campfire singing David Allen Co. I always joke that motherhood has reduced me into somebody that I never expected like I've never some of the things I say, y'all, I have two boys. I'm not going to tell you some of the things I've had to say. But oh, body parts that we have to talk about and things we don't touch all the time. And motherhood has just really changed my life. <laughs> okay. So, y'all saw me get out two cans of apple pie filling. I have covered this. I still have about a half a can left. I didn't want to use one can because that wasn't going to be enough, but two cans is a little excessive. Um, so what I'll do is I'll save this. This is what it looks like. I've just got my cream cheese dough, or I'm sorry, my crescent roll dough, my cream cheese mixture, and then my apples on top. Um, I'm going to jump to my fridge, grab another one of these. We'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> So I have another of these dough sheets, the crescent roll dough sheets, and this is going to be our top. Now, I talked about how glorious the sheets are. If you're unable to find them, you don't have to use them. You can use the regular crescent rolls that are perforated and just like squish the seams together and try to roll it out. But I really encourage these because we are going to pour butter on top of this. And if you have the crescent roll dough that's perforated, there's a good chance that it's going to um, fall through the cracks, as they say, and it's not going to have the same effect on the top as we want because we're going to pour butter and cinnamon sugar all over the top of this and bake it, and it's going to be glorious. You ever fantasize that you're um, one of the pizza guys, you know, the pizza throwers doing the hand toss thing? I would love to do that, but I would end up with it on the ceiling. I'd be like, I love Lucy. <laughs> I would be a disaster. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of stretching out my dough because I want to cover up my apples, but I can't really, um, like there's no way to seam it together with the other one so I'm just kind of stretching it over because I want that butter to sit on top of this I have my butter and I have my cinnamon sugar which I actually I made that before I started filming and not only did I add cinnamon to my sugar but I added a little bit of that apple pie spice not too much because it's got a little bit of nutmeg in it and I don't want to take away from that cinnamony, you know, that cinnamon sugar flavor, but I thought it might give it a little something. 
And in typical amber fashion, this is an entire stick of melted butter. Because why not? And all I'm doing is, I mean, I have a generous amount of butter on here, but I'm just kind of um, brushing to make sure I don't have any missed areas. And I'm also going to kind of brush it up on my my little lips that I gave it, <laughs> where I made a lip out of it. This is going to be so good. And this is actually something I've never cooked my family. Well, I did. So in 2016, I was pregnant with my youngest. And I didn't have typical um, pregnant, pregnant person cravings. I crave like salads all the time. So I didn't like chocolate. Chocolate's one of my favorite things, and it actually took me two years to like chocolate after I had him. It was crazy. But, um, oh, it was longer than that, actually. But any hoodle, I didn't like chocolate, and I didn't really like sweet stuff. And I found a recipe for this, and I made this, and it was like a solid month. This is all I wanted. I would cook this almost every night. Like as soon as we ran out, I would make more. And one of those little trips, my mom had come to visit and I made it for her. And that's literally the only time she had it was when I was pregnant because it's really good. But um, we don't, you know, we've been trying to do keto. We've been trying to eat healthy and y'all, I finally hit my goal of 30 pounds. Whoop, whoop. Took long enough, but I cheat a lot. So can't complain. But um, I don't make a lot of desserts because we try to stay away from it. We try to be good. And uh, so when I do cook for my family, because I work an hour away, I don't cook that often. Usually it's my two aunts and my mom that cook. But um, when I do, I usually cook a really big meal like lasagna, and then I'll do a light-ish version of dessert. But because we're doing the taco soup, I just thought this would be wonderful. Okay, I'm just smoothing out my little cinnamony, cinnamony sugar areas that are left standing. Do y'all remember, did you ever grow up? I grew up with this. My little granny would take pieces of white light bread and she would kind of like coat it in softened butter and then sprinkle cinnamon sugar on top and put it under the broiler. Did y'all live like that? Because that was like poor people food back then. And that is like a delicacy now. I've made it for my kids. It is so good. And it's like sugar and butter. It's not even healthy, but man, we lived off of that stuff. It was so good. So that's what this reminds me of. This reminds me of the cinnamon toast my little granny used to make. So what I'm gonna do now, 375 degree oven, I'm going to um, put the timer on for 20 minutes, and I'm just kind of going to keep an eye. Like you know, I cook with gas, and it cooks hot. So a lot of my recipes I have to adjust because of the way this cooks. So the directions will say 375. <clears throat> I'm going to keep tabs on it, and if it looks like it's cooking a little too quickly, I'm going to bump it down to 350. So if you have to do that, it's all for the cause. And as soon as I get it oven, as soon as I get it out of the oven, we'll be right back. Y'all, I just got it out of the oven. So it's like bedtime here. The house is quiet. I'm trying to stay quiet. And I have this in a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And then I went and cut it down to 350 and left it in for five other minutes. And it's just so pretty. Check out this yumminess. Just look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It legit looks like the old timey cinnamon toast. And I cannot wait to cut into it. You can try it and taste it and tell me what you think. But I'm feeling pretty sure this is gonna be like the game changer tomorrow night. I'm excited. 